Good morning, everybody. It's a nice chilly 54 degrees. Oh, 52 degrees. A little cooler than I thought. So, heading off to the, my favorite place to be. Well, actually, not really, but it's a favorite thing I get to do. I want to go buy a new tire. Yay! So, the one I've got right now is freaking square as hell because of all my straightened up riding that I do. But, uh, Hey, Mr. Scooter. So, uh, I'm going to get a fuel sensor uh, strip changed in the bike also. This is the second time I've had it done. There's a defect in the uh, GS sensor strip. And what happens is the gas gauge gets down to about half tank. A little below half. And then it just plummets and freaks the shit out of you because it all of a sudden goes down from 100 miles down to 35 40 miles within just a couple of miles it just starts going dip, 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 dropping down so we're gonna get that fixed because I, I have to rely on my fuel gauge you know i can do the mileage thing but that's kind of a pain in the ass the bike should work properly should not have to do workarounds so anyway, we're going to go get that done. Nice and early in the morning. Nice and cool. Nice and sunny. I love this time of year. Got my heated grips on so my hands will stay toasty. I'm trying to get a new jacket. Also, I've ordered one from Dionysia, but they just don't have it in. Because I'm not a small guy, so I need a, a, a fat ass size. And so they don't have a lot of those. They're, they have a lot of skinny ass dude jackets but no fat ass dude jackets. So anyway, gotta do some shopping for that today too maybe. Go to Cycle Gear. Check them out and see what they have in stock. So, alright. We'll talk to you in a few minutes when we get rolling again. Okay, here we are in my old neighborhood. I grew up down here and around the corner until I was 10 years old. <clears throat> so this is uh, my little kid stomping grounds. Those were good times back then. It was a lot different than it is today. And yes, that means I am a bit older than the average bear. Back then, for Halloween, we'd just dress up like what we call the bum, or a homeless person. But uh, just put charcoal on our face and ratty clothes and get out there and grab your pillow sack, your pillowcase, and head out. We would fill those pillowcases up probably, I don't know, 10 inches worth of candy deep. That's a lot of candy, man. We would just go from one street to the other, to the other, to the other. Not like today, you know, it, it sucks today for kids because everybody's so scared. You know, we've got too many freaking pedos and freaks and weirdos. And we had some back then, but not, not to the level that we have now. So it's kind of, it sucks because it's taken away one of the really special things that kids did. And I'm sure here they still have kids run around on Halloween, but... Uh, I think it's just reduced from what it used to be. Where I live now, 17 years, we've never had one kid come to the door. So, you know, that's the life of living in a condo instead of a neighborhood. So it's just a bit different. Nostalgia. Oh, I miss my childhood. It's gone forever. Uh, so is my young adulthood. So is my... Um, young manhood so is my oh my god my manhood's gone that's frightening
I got scared there. Oh, 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 oh. Not really. Oh, God, this cold air is making my nose run. I'm having freaking nose problems anyway lately. Big snip. Bet you enjoyed that. Can't really blow my nose right now. That would be kind of horrible inside my helmet. Ugh. That's one of the really bad things about a full face helmet is if you have to sneeze, that is not a good thing. A lot of bikes today. There's a bike over in the truck over here, back at the gas station. Behind me, there's a, I don't know, four or five bikes, dirt bikes. Everybody's going riding today. It's a beautiful day, look at that. Now this is bluebird skies. These are beautiful skies today. And here we are, world famous Surf Seavers motorcycles. Oh, cough, cough. <coughs> Talk to you in a bit. <coughs> All right, here we go. New fuel sensors installed, backpacks installed. Uh, needs to be washed. So I need to put my new brake pads on the front. They did a service check on it. And uh, rear pads are good because I just replaced those. But I need to put on some front pads. And I have those at home. There's like the easiest thing in the world to do. It's just a little clip. They slide in, slide out. I mean, it's amazingly simple. Back the pucks up and the reservoir looks a little bit low. So... Might need to suck a little fluid out of that to uh, accommodate the room. But uh, there she is. She's looking good and happy. Oh, I'm going to change the view on my camera back to super view. Right now I have it on medium. So I will be back in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> We're back on super view. So, here's the beast. It was the best bike I've ever owned, man. I absolutely love this thing. I bought it back in March. Had 8,700 miles on it. it now has 32,000 miles on it. So, uh, what the heck is that? That is just the scuff that wipes right off. So, there we go, new tire, again. Look at that. Oh, these tires wear out fast. Man, it's crazy. So yeah, I just need to give her a bath. But, that's her. All right, let's go ride. I love the feel of a new tire. So I have to be careful the first few miles on it. Get it kind of broken so you just <laughs> did this the last time and people were looking at me weird. Now I'm gonna go eat lunch. I don't know where.
Okay, that's going to wrap up this one today. When I've got my new tire, got my bike fixed, gas gauge works, all's good, everything's right with the world. Beautiful day, tire feels awesome, just freaking flickable. I love new tires. Got some lunch at my favorite place, Grill Hut. And that's it. We're going to be signing off. See you later.